This is my favorite kind of question because it's very obvious what I need to do. I'm going to need to plug points into equations. This is our main strategy for the entire math section, and so we need to be able to recognize when it's the easy version of that strategy. They clearly are giving us a bunch of points in this chart, and down here they give us an equation. So we should make sure that there's no twists involved here, but hopefully I can just take a point and plug it into the equation. They to say that these are four values of x and their corresponding values of f of x. It's a linear relationship. So it's defined by this, where obviously m is going to be the slope if we know anything about lines, where m is a constant, what is the value of m? So all we're going to do is plug any of these points in and solve for m. So let's just take the easiest one, 10 and, and 82. So 82 is my f of x, so 82. We don't know m, but we know 10 is the value of x that goes with that 82. So there we go. Now we have an equation, and it has one variable, which lets us solve for that variable. So let's add 28 to both sides. We get 28, well that'd be 90, that'd be 110, is equal to 10m, and then let's divide both sides by 10, and basically what happens here is it lets us cross out the zero, so we have m is equal to 11. We could have done any of that in the calculator, but it's so easy I didn't bother, um, and there you go. Now the benefit of plug points into equations here is that it lets us get started on this very quickly without having to think deeply about like what's going on, right? The, the, if you did think deeply about this, you'd end up pretty much getting the same place. You could solve this by doing the slope formula, y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2, but I just think that that's more prone to mistakes. And you know, the best way to save time on the SAT is to just get into the solving of a question quickly. A lot of you stare way too long at questions, trying to wonder what the best, most efficient way is, or just trying to make sense of the wording. The benefit of plug points into equations is it really narrows your focus to just two ideas. Are there points? Are there equations? If the answer to both of those is yes, then just take the points and plug them into the equations and just don't ask too many questions. The problem will solve itself. Trust the strategy and you'll be able to get into questions much more quickly, much more confidently, and you'll be able to get them right. So it's got a lot of benefits, so you always wanna be thinking on every question, are there points, are there equations, can I plug them in?